But we still can't figure out why there's a pocket on the side of the boot, but now he keeps his... Uh, plating tongs in there. Plating tongs. <laughs> Well, a bit of a last minute trip. Evan and I decided to, uh, what did we decide? How come you're not working today? I didn't want to. You didn't want to. <laughs> quiet at work, I imagine. You're very quiet right now. Very quiet, so it's uh, Tuesday. We're just going on an overnight. Go uh, try out all this new gear we got for Christmas. How's the Christmas uh, cheer treating you? <laughs> Working it off right now. Yeah, any New Year's resolution? Uh, just get out here more. Every month is our goal. Yeah. I think we can do it. We're making great time. All right, home. We're gonna try and turn this into a camp. Step one, clear the snow. Using a shovel. Major upgrade. I used to use this mylar emergency blanket but now i got this folding one it's a little more robust for christmas so awesome just rolling out the sleeping bag i gotta put my uh my therm rest on the ground on the first but this is the first thing I pulled out, so my faithful zero degrees Celsius bag. folks we don't know yet I don't even think I know yet that is one of the most creative ways I've seen of building a table buddy thanks you like my cutting board Marty I love your cutting board <laughs> You didn't so, bring all the fixings from your kitchen. You got a small little cutting board that he bought at the dollar store, and then he's using a pocket knife. That's all it takes. That's it. And we're going to eat gourmet. So what is beef stroganoff? Uh, typically, like originally, it's uh, egg noodles cooked in a beef broth with uh, cubed beef slices, or cubed beef. But uh, the French refined, refined it and uh, strips is the way to do it. Now, uh, the LaRousse, the Bible of cooking, says uh, paprika, but I'm gonna use these hot peppers that'll mimic the paprika tonight. Keep talking, what are you doing? Just pulling time off to, uh, basically we're gonna rub the steaks down and marinate them. Let them sit for a bit while we have lunch and build more stuff like this table that we built. When you say marinade, did you, are you 
Well, not marinade. It's more like a dry rub. Because dry we're rub. Not, we're not getting it wet. You're going to put it back in that little Ziploc bag kind of thing? Exactly, yeah. What was it good fellas when they shave it really thin in the using a razor blade yeah in jail yeah we're not in jail but no this is way too civilized for jail okay and then we'll just crush these peppers up Mushrooms are those. Uh, we got shiitake and cremini. Which is which? Uh, these are cremini and shiitake. Basically, I'm just going to cut these up and get them ready so that when it comes time for dinner, we're just going to cook super quick. Because uh, we get hungry fast. So, Evan and I purposely came a very short distance today. This is an area in Kananaskis that I love to come to just, just to get away, first of all. But it's also sometimes you want to um, play with new gear, try out new gear in relative safety. I mean, we're, we're five kilometers away from the trailhead, so it's not the end of the world. But today we, we initially had thoughts of going a little bit further, but we decided not to because um, we just really want to showcase the 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 cooking and if we go if we'd gone a little bit further i was thinking of another spot it would have been another hour of walking and the next thing you know we're we're out of daylight so uh, uh we're trying to do this while we still have some daylight gave us the opportunity to build this table and uh settle in it's very comfortable right now we are, we are in an extremely comfortable setting it's funny you ask if that was the hot chocolate because this morning, waiting for you to pick me up, I made a coffee and I went to pour some hot chocolate into it and realized it was beef base <laughs> and we almost didn't bring it with us. So my coffee had beef base in it this morning. Nothing better than that in Alberta. It is just snowing. The forecast is for snow overnight. I think we're going to get it. It'll be interesting to see how much we get. I didn't want to wait, so I'm boiling water. I melted the water in the fire, but now I'm just cooking my craft dinner. It's like Evan's already... Well, he's making himself a coffee, and I have a feeling there's something else going into the coffee. Uh, maybe some bourbon. Maybe. Warm it up. Outside cooking, and I realized I hadn't quite finished setting up my tent, so I got I just gotta roll out this mattress underneath. All right, layer number one. Got my nice.
sleeping bag inside the sleeping bag. We're good to go. Forecast calls for uh, a mild, you know, minus 10 Celsius overnight, so be super comfortable with two sleeping bags. Uh, and some people have asked in the past, uh, why not bring one big sleeping bag rated for, let's say, minus 30 degrees Celsius instead of two bags? And the reason is, it's the same concept as dressing, it's layering. So I got two bags here, and if it gets too hot, I could have used only one. But, you know, two, two bags um, weigh as much as one big giant bag. So, so I got my two sleeping bags, I got my inflatable pillow, I got a bag of some clothes here that I'll change into later. And uh, my booties. We're good to go. There's a creek nearby. We're just gonna go check if the creek is uh, open. No creek. I guess we're boiling water, or not boiling water. Melting snow. Melting snow. Yeah. We're over there. Bad in here. Yeah, well. Let's pause for a second. Evan's wearing a very reputable classic brand of Canadian boots, Baffin is Baffin Island, so they're good for what? Everything. Minus, minus 70. Minus 70. But we still can't figure out why there's a pocket on the side of the boot, but now he keeps his... Uh, plating tongs in there. Plating tongs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now... Now Evan's... It's about two hours later... Yeah, we're nice and uh, seasoned up on our steak. We're gonna get this fire going, get some coal so that we can uh, saute on top of it. He wants to, his excuse is I'm that he's more comfortable. Over. Yeah, he's tired of bending over. I but... know you've been looking at my butt the last couple of weeks, so I'm like, okay. But this, this, this is a neat idea. Hopefully, we're about to find out. <laughs> that lit fast. Yeah, well, it's very dry wood. You don't need a lot of wood either. No. Evan's idea turned out incredibly pretty good so far. Really good. And my back's not sore right now. So that's, uh, did you say a butter noodle or? Yeah, egg noodle. Egg noodle, sorry, egg noodle. And then he's got a beef broth or beef sauce that he made. Did you dehydrate it or not? No. No. Nor product. Oh, nor product, okay. That looks a little hot. Fried the vegetables and the mushrooms and then he put them in this aluminum foil and they're just staying warm by the fire right now and now he's going to do the next part which is the, the, steaks. the steaks. Just in a matter of what have we been cooking here? 20 minutes? Yeah. I've learned that 
I'll have two sides of the fire. So this side will be hot while that side's starting to burn and then I'll just keep moving back and forth. Genius. Dollar store plates. Start with the noodles. Classically, everything's cooked in together, but you know me, I'm not gonna go classic. Look at that beef. Shit. Mind if I use my hands? No, shit, no. <laughs> I'm really nervous about that pan. <laughs> pan will be good. These are sautéed mushrooms and onions. Pieces of garlic. Yeah. So we got two garnishes tonight. Oh, goodbye, lid. Ah. Uh, Forgot, of course. Is that like a sour cream? This is creme fraiche that creme I made fraiche. at the restaurant. And <laughs> uh, when I was in France at a store, I took some Dijon. Wow, you know the French are sophisticated when their uh, they're instant packages of uh, fancy mustard. You have Dijon. There we go, Marty. Hold that up. Wow. Beef stroganoff, backcountry. <laughs> Another creation by Chef Evan. Yes. That looks amazing. Oh. Wow, that smells so good, Evan. I don't even know where to start. Mm. <laughs> I'm getting a bunch of shit out of this. Mm. Ooh, that mustard's got a little bite. Mm hmm. So Evan texted me a couple of days ago, well, a week ago, and we agreed we'd come on a trip. And then uh, he texted me, what, two nights ago, I think? Yeah. Uh, and I was actually in bed when you texted, and he said, any ideas for what we, sh what he should cook? And the first thing that came to mind was, for whatever reason, uh, be stroganoff. And so this is not something on your menu. Nope. You've made this probably before in the past, or what? What's your, what's uh, your approach? You just, I have a, I have a Bible called the Larousse. Okay. Larousse gastronomique, and uh, it, it basically has everything in it. So you just looked up what a basic beef stroganoff is. Yeah, I look at what, uh, what it is, and then, uh, then I break it down and start creating my own idea from it. Amazing. Wow. Yeah. So if you did this for uh, Gordon Ramsay, he'd recognize this without you telling him, or, well, you tell him, if he says, what have you made for me? And you said, I, uh, this is my version of beef stroganoff. He wouldn't criticize it. He'd recognize it. Correct. You, you stayed true to what it. Yes. Straight, stay true to the elements. Dijon mustard, egg noodles, beef, beef, and normally the seasoning you cooked said in a, cooked in a beef base. Normally the beef is actually 
um, rubbed with the Dijon. But you see, you substituted one ingredient, the seasoning. You substituted. Yeah, I put some spicy pepper in it. Right. Which, by the way, is absolutely not overpowering. Like. That's such a great idea. I'm so pumped on that. <laughs> Look at that. This is like Absolute peace and quiet. Evan's getting a little more wood, making sure we got lots of firewood. And then just because of timing, we've been coming out here about every 28 days. So the last three trips we've been on have had full moons. No, oh, just showing people how peaceful and quiet it is until you broke the silence. Until I come around smashing trees. Yeah, like a big foot. Just... So, tents, you've seen this before. Look at how inviting that looks. It is gonna be so warm in there tonight. Woo! We still have some mushrooms for tomorrow morning for breakfast. Pancakes for breakfast. Big guy forgot the maple syrup. Ooh, fired. We devised a plan, so I brought a maple flavored oatmeal. So while Evan's making the pancakes tomorrow, I'm gonna patiently sort out the oatmeal package and just keep the uh, maple flavoring out of it. And then we'll make a maple syrup. <laughs> I'm kidding, folks. I'm kidding. No, I'm not. <laughs> You're not sleeping tonight. If anybody's wondering, everybody knows I like my whiskey, but lots of whiskey at the home. Uh, Christmas was really fun. I went up north to visit family in White Court and we had 21 family members so uh, uh, Karen has two sisters and uh, her two sisters, her sister Shelly had four kids, her sister Sharon had three kids, we have four kids so uh, my, my mother-in-law and father-in-law Carmen and Fritz have three daughters and uh, 11 grandkids and two of the grandkids have um, well, more than two of the grandkids, three, four of the grandkids have, five of the grandkids have girlfriends or boyfriends, um, but two are very serious. So my nephew Cameron got engaged to a wonderful girl named Phoebe and, uh, and congratulations to my nephew uh, Cameron, by the way, he just got accepted uh, at the academy by the uh, Edmonton police for so he's uh, training and in the seven months he'll be a full-blown uh, peace officer here in uh, Alberta and so Cameron and Phoebe got engaged which is fantastic and my nephew Brandon came to visit us he's been living in Germany for a few years and he brought his wonderful girlfriend yeah uh, and uh, so um, 
we had 21 people at Christmas and it was a great time and lots of drinking, lots of whiskey, lots of fun wine and uh, uh, don't be critical, uh, everybody knows I like my whiskey but uh, so on a trip like this I found a bottle at home, poured a little bit in this uh, plastic bottle, bring it out here and have a uh, cup of uh, whiskey. Cheers everyone, happy new year. We are now, this is our first trip, uh, Evan and I, first trip of uh, 2020. 2020 and our goal is to get out at least once a month. We're off to a good start because we got two trips planned for January. So. I know some folks out there, hopefully you don't get tired of these shots of firewood. And I know some folks out there are absolutely strong believers in the leave no trace principle. And trust me, I try to live by that principle uh, all the time when I'm hiking. But please recognize that when I'm out here in the middle of winter, fire like this is an essential component. It's like wearing a hat. And we are not we are not in any way shape or form cutting down live trees i'll walk you around tomorrow morning and i'll show you i didn't sh highlight it today but there are dead trees everywhere here that are fallen and there's not one or two trees there's tens of thousands of dead trees here so burning a couple of them is not um i don't think it is a breach of the leave no trace principle Bedtime routine is always uh, a little bit of work. flash the uh, light on myself so you can see what I'm doing but it actually hinders what I'm trying to do I'm just trying to find my gloves my little fleece mittens or gloves not mittens so I got these little fleece gloves that I wear when I'm going to bed I'm gonna actually take off this jacket I'm not kidding when I say it's it's warm in the tent right now. It's actually quite warm in the tent. Um, when I go to bed like this, usually I get cramps in my feet for a few minutes. It's cold. Actually, I'm going to put this back on my head and get organized, and I'll tape again in a minute. snow all night. It's going to be interesting to wake up in the morning. There'll be snow. The tent will be hopefully, well, no, not hopefully. The tent's fine. I mean, there'll be snow on the tent. I'm, I'm uh, pretty confident that our tracks will be buried, but uh,
I would pref- I, I actually prefer snow. I don't mind if it's snowing. Uh, versus minus 30. Minus 30 like is cold and that's complicated. Minus 30 in snow would be problematic but uh, tonight it's just going to snow but it's actually comfortable. I'm going to sleep like a baby. I mean there is, this is warm, warmish. Um, it's actually a really good day. Evan outdid himself again. Great, great, great meal. Short hike, quickly, uh, you know, 6K, got to our campsite, set up camp. Um, he built that crazy table. We cooked dinner, and then we just sat around the fire and just told stories. I mean, that's the part that I love about hiking. You know, we're just uh, just getting away, hanging out with people. Anyways. Good night, everyone.